So fucking drunk, back again with yet another time to beer review. And one of the reviews just now is an American beer. But before I get there, I have a special shout out for this video. Uh, I just spoke to him on Facebook. I was meant to give him a shout out in a video. <laughs> and I forgot. But I'm going to do it now before I review this beer. And that's to Durban Viking uh, Dave. He was in hospital with a burst penicillus. Or he was giving birth at one point and then he couldn't shit but he managed to get I think he's pulling through and uh, daddy and the big shit are doing fine so anyway managed to get that out of the way so Dave get get well soon mate and I know you've sort of retired from YouTube from your beer tubing but get your ass back on here because we all miss you you were good see that pulling the horns and the theme tune you had and all that and you were pulling flavours out the kitchen sink everybody liked that so get your ass back in there and do some more beer reviews so anyway moving on <laughs> the beer it is a stones uh, stones stone beer it's a stone pale ale 5.4 on the Richter scale and I'll shout out here to Minty's beer reviews Big Minty uh, this was part of my beer trade with him uh, he threw a wee, a wee stone beer in my beer trade. Not tried uh, the pale ale by stone, but he knows I am a pale ale fan. I like my pale ales. So I'm going to get the old BB bar fly. Get this opened. Let's get something on the cork that I need to get the eye furniture on. A bit of writing. Let's see what it says. I'm going to show you the bottle crown anyway. You guys might be able to read it. I have to put it on the eye furniture. As I'm getting older. It says Stone Brewing Company, the most popular and biggest rated brewery ever. Beer Advocate, Beer Advocate Magazine, 2008. Do you think the boys get a few free beers? Hmm. Jury's out on that one. So anyway, here we have Stone Stone Pale Ale. I like my pale ale, as I said. Get it in the old. Uh, Brew dog glass for this. I love the artwork on their bottles actually. A wee, what is it? Is it a wee demon? Whatever. A wee arrogant bastard? Whatever. That was the only other beer I can compare this to actually. I had the arrogant bastard. I paid seven quid for it. That'd be, what, seven pounds? I don't know how many dollars that is for anyone who's in America watching it, but I was rather disappointed because. Uh, I watched all these beer reviews about the arrogant bastard and everyone was ranting and raving it's the best beer I've ever drank and all this kind of jazz and I swear to god I thought it was shit I really did think it was shit but in fairness the bottle I got was nearly out of date now I don't know if it's one of those beers I don't think you can age it I think the best thing you could get this way arrogant bastard is is to get it fresh and I never got it fresh so it's one of those ones, if I ever went to, if I ever went and got a fresh bottle of it, I would say, no, sorry, I didn't like it. I'm kind of funny that way. So anyway, here we go. Pale Ale by Stone, the Stone Brewery. I think they're California, actually, are they? Are they from California? I don't know. Let's see where they're from. Uh, do, 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 do. Are they from California? San Diego? I don't know. San Diego. San Diego, Cal CA, California, is that California? If it is, shout out to uh, Yankee Doodle Dandy. Uh, she probably is uh, a stone drinker. She likes a stone. I know she does stone, but... So anyway, here we go, back to the beers. We'll go in here for the nose. I'm actually four minutes into this video and I've not even nosed the beer yet. So we'll go in here for the nose, see what's up. Nice malty smell. That was sweet caramel. Mmm, that to me. Picking up a little bit of the grapefruit as well. A little bit of maybe cascade hop in there. A little bit of a. Uh, smells very like caramel. It will be actually if it's a pale, a pale ale, will be a little bit of caramel in there. 
So anyway, it's all about the taste. So anyway, sofa king drunk drinking a stone, pale ale, 5.4 on the extra scale, Slangeva. Yeah, bang, grapefruit. I'm getting the grapefruit now. So <laughs> also a lot of it's like a candy, a candy like some, um, I'm going to use the word candy, I would say sweet if it was here, but since it's American beer, it's like a candy orange uh, taste, almost like a, <coughs> a, almost like Fanta orange. Really, really nice actually. The grapefruit coming through, candy orange, a little bit malty. Ain't like any pale ale I've ever drank before. I had a pale ale before this actually, and it was rather peppery, and I really enjoyed this. But this has moved it away somewhere different. The goalposts have moved now, and this is really, really nice. You get further and further down the beer. It's it's got a nice uh, citrus bang to it as well. It's Keeping it nice and moist in the mouth, like in the malts uh, can sometimes be a wee bit overpowering, a wee bit dry up the palate, but the, the citrus is going through there. It's rather nice. This is a rather, rather nice bottle. Minty, I know you like your stone beers. I hope you kept one of them for yourself. This is rather very, very pleasant. California beer, no wonder likes, uh, those guys out there, they, they, they get a nice weather. Where I stay, we're absolutely freezing. Today, we're absolutely freezing today. Uh, the sun was out and it was still freezing. This is really, really nice, that stuff. I could see Beer Advocate giving us a good score. <laughs> because uh, somebody was blackmailed and probably got about seven or eight cases sent to their, their garage in America. <laughs> That's nasty, actually, because the beer is really good. It's nice. It's sessionable. 5.4 on the Richter scale. It's unusual <coughs> American brews. You can get them that low on Richter scale. You can just session on them. That would actually be very, very nice on tap. I think that would be tap beer in the States. That would be quite nice. Yeah. Can't get away with a candy orange that I'm picking up. It's really unusual for a pale ale. Normally it's, it's more like citrusy and a little bit of lime, but this is actually candy orange and it's the only way to describe it. Sweet, sweet orange, like Fanta. Uh, it's really, really nice. So anyway, I'm going to give the Stone Pale Ale 5.4 on the Richter scale. Uh, California beer giants apparently to according to a uh, brew advocate i'm going to give us a sofa king drunk rating of i'm going to give us a, a seven and a half out of ten it is a good solid brew it's one i'm going to drink again if i ever come across it i know that when we get it many probably next time i see him i'll ask him how much he paid for it he probably paid through the nose for that it's a wee three thirty mil bottle, so we probably you probably use guys in the states to pick up rather cheap. We I think he paid probably paid through the nose for it because I, I know I did pay through the nose when I bought an arrogant bastard and it was out of date. Uh, well, it wasn't quite out of date. It only had about two weeks before it was out of date and it was rotten. I really did not like it at all. What's my review? I've got it in here somewhere in my page. Watch it. I did not like it. So anyway, so fucking drunk, drinking a Stones Pale Ale. Uh, rather enjoying it. So anyway, if you've had it before, give us a shout. And if not, catch you in our beer review. Slangy Villa, keep drinking the good beer. Slangy Villa. Yanko Doodle Dandy. <laughs>